Hello, hello everybody, it's Robert Perriello, Century 21 All Points here in Connecticut, back again with you today to talk about three important principles that have changed the way homes sell today versus 5, 10, 15 years ago. Right? The first thing I'm going to talk about is the internet, second is pricing, and the third is how buyers choose an agent in today's market. Right? So f first off, the internet, right? This, this was a game changer. Why? Because now buyers have all the information, if not more, as we as realtors do, right? Uh, school systems, uh, crime rates, pricing history, how long the home's been on the market, the average day on the market, how much your neighbor's home sold for. Right? All that information is there at the buyer's fingertips. There's no tricking the buyer or misleading the buyer. It's fact, right? And that's a good thing. A lot of this is, once you understand how to use it, a, a lot of these changes are really powerful and really good um, for, for the real estate industry because the information's real, right? So the internet has helped with information. The second principle that is more critical today than ever is, is pricing. Because of all that information that's out there right now, pricing your home correctly from day one is more important than ever. Using an agent who understands the market trends and where to position yourself within that current inventory is going to give you an advantage like no other, really. Um, the days of an agent putting the home, listing it, right, taking it off the market, putting it as a new listing the next day, and then showing all the buyers that the listing's new, those days are over. <laughs> you cannot trick the buyers. That, the information's out there, right? If your home was on the market for six months and it didn't sell, and you wait two, three, four months to sell it, that information's still there. You can't go back and change it. The buyers see that. Again, that's a good thing. The information is real, right? So it's how do we use this information and use the reality of our real estate market, our technology-driven market, to, to put you in the best position to actually get the job done and, and get your home sold, right? And the third principle that's more important than ever for a seller to understand is how do buyers choose a real estate agent in this market, right? In the old days, realtors would sit in their office, right, local office, and they'd wait for the phone to ring. The buyer would call the local office and ask, ask if a realtor could show them a couple homes, right? That's how homes used to sell. There was no internet. Now... Buyers start their search in one place and one place only, the internet, right? When I work with great clients, clients I've worked with for years, the first thing they say to me is not, you know, hey, Rob, what homes can you show me? It's, Rob, I like these homes. These homes interest me. What can you tell me about them? Can you take me to look at them, right? What more information can you give me? They know the homes they want to look at before I do, and that's okay, but we have to understand this because it shows us how a buyer picks an agent, and therefore the seller can pick the agent that puts them in the best position to have the most exposure, right? So since we know the buyers are on the uh, internet searching for everything, the agents who have the most listings are going to get the most buyer calls. Because every time an agent has a listing, their face is next to that listing, their phone number, their contact information, right? So they're getting these buyer leads, the buyers are calling them, they're showing them properties. If that one doesn't fit, they show them to another one. So if you as a seller want to give yourself the most exposure, using the listing agent who has a good track record of listing and selling homes, not just listing homes that are overpriced, because buyers don't call on those homes, is going to put you in the position to get as many buyers as possible through your property. All right. Now, something else worth mentioning, <clears throat> excuse me, is some agents who are newer to the business, um, who are not listing a lot of properties, what they do to generate business is they buy ad slots. And these are secondary agents. So you'll actually see the listing agent at the top on a lot of these third-party websites, and you'll see these secondary agents underneath them. Right? Those are not the listing agent, right? So don't be confused. I get a lot of calls on this, and it's very confusing the way these third-party sites run things. Those are agents who are buying ad space, trying to intercept um, leads or contact information before it gets to the listing agent in hopes that they can 
you know, work with a client that way. All right. So do those agents have exposure? Sure. Right. And, and they may be great listing agents too. Right. I want to give you some information to research on your own as you're going through the process um, as a seller, you know, as what agent can put you in the best position to sell. Right? These are some things you can consider. I hope at least one little part of this video was relevant to you, something that you may be able to use when it's time for you to go ahead and sell a home in this crazy internet technology driven market. All right, Robert Perriello Real Estate at gmail.com. I'll see you next week.